today we're going to talk about harness training and how we harness trained our cat, Squirrel. Holy crap, there's a lot of cat hair. Leash and harness training your cat is a good way to let them enjoy the outdoors in a safe way, especially if you live in an apartment downtown like we do, where it's not safe for them to just go out and roam the streets. So also if your cat's an indoor cat, they might get a little bored or antsy, so it's a good way to get them out, burn off some energy. You're gonna have to have patience if you're harness and leash training your cat. If they're a kitten, it's gonna be a lot easier. I find when you have a kitten, anything in their first six months to a year, they're just like, I guess this is what cats do. But when they're older, it gets a bit more difficult, but it's definitely not impossible. A lot of collars are like this, they're breakaway. So if they get caught on something, it's not gonna strangle them, but it's not gonna keep them secure if they get spooked. So if you're going to take them outside, you're going to want a harness, which is more around their whole body. It's also not going to pull on their neck, it's going to pull on their whole body, they're going to be a lot more secure. It doesn't break away, so if they get spooked, they're going to be fully in this. So you're going to want to get them used to a harness to take them outside. First, you want to get your cat comfortable with the harness and the leash. Start from the safety of your own home and in small increments and build it up from there. Getting your cat used to a harness, the best way to do it is in very small doses. So put a harness on them, maybe leave it on them for like five, 10 minutes, take it off, give them about an hour break, maybe put it on for another five, 10 minutes, take it off, give them another break and slowly um, make that inc increment of time longer and longer that it's on until they're used to it. A lot of times when you put on a harness to a cat, they act like it weighs 100 pounds and they can't move. So what you want to do when it's on is distract them so they forget that, that it's even on. So if they're food motivated, give them treats but make them come to you for it. If they have a favorite toy, then distract them by playing with it and then soon they won't even realize it's on. They'll move more, they'll get more comfortable with it. So slowly do it that way. When you're first putting a harness on them, Try to make sure you're supervising them as they're getting used to it. I know with Squirrel and our previous cat, the first few times we put on a harness, when it's on them, they're not used to it, they're not what, sure what it's about, so they tried to like chew it off, and then some, one time their jaw got stuck and we had to quickly unclip it. So until they know that it's a normal thing and they don't want to chew it off of their body, then make sure you're watching them while it's on them. Once they're used to the harness, then get them used to the leash. Clip that on, walk around your house with it. If you live in an apartment building, maybe walk them around the halls. Get them used to having a little bit of a, something tugging on them and the sound of that on their harness. Once your cat's comfortable with wearing a harness indoors, then is a good time to start small increments outside. The first place that you take them outside, you're gonna want to start somewhere that's calm, somewhere that's quiet, not a lot of distractions, so if you have a quiet backyard or a courtyard or a forest that you can go to, away from traffic, away from runners, bikers, any sort of thing that could spook them and make their first few experiences traumatizing or scary. When you first take your cat out, don't worry about your cat walking on the leash, just get them comfortable with being in the outdoors. Not all cats are going to walk on a leash like a dog. Some will, some are just going to want to be outdoors. For those who do and want to try to get their cat to walk on a leash, here's our method that we found worked. We started with Squirrel out in the forest. We took her along a path so it was obvious which way that we would walk. We had one of us with her on leash and one of us ahead. The person ahead coaxed her with treats and calling her and smacking on their leg 
to try and coax her to go to them. When she did, we'd give her a treat, go a bit further, and we'd keep doing that and repeat it until she got used to walking along with us. All cats are different, so you're going to want to find out what kind of scenario is right for your cat in the outdoors. Just because your cat seems maybe nervous or is a little bit scared doesn't necessarily mean that this isn't for them. Maybe they're just nervous about something in that particular situation. If it's cold out, Squirrel feels more nervous. If there's bikes or joggers or dogs, then she gets more nervous. She gets more nervous around the ocean. So it's just kind of feeling out what they don't like and persisting, but not to a point of torture or she hates this, just knowing that she's a little bit nervous. Maybe she needs a minute in the backpack, but you can tell your personality of your own cat and what is too much for them and what is okay that they just need a little bit of time. You may end up trying all these steps and taking it slow and your cat might still absolutely hate this and not want to go outdoors at all. If you find your cat's only stressed and hates hates it not getting any enjoyment out of it, then maybe it's not the right thing for your cat. So with Squirrel, we really lucked out with her. She's a very curious cat and she was okay with being outdoors and being on a harness. Um, but there's still some times where she's a little nervous if we take her on a if we take her on a hike, sometimes she's a little bit nervous at first, so we sometimes you have to push their comfort level a tiny bit. Um, you don't want to go too far that they're terrified, but if she's a little nervous, then I just give her some treats. I praise her, maybe take her, make sure she's somewhere quiet so she can start walking. Once she gets moving, then she's a little bit more comfortable. Sometimes though, she just we go on a hike and she's just not having it. And if she's really, really not comfortable, then I always have my cat backpack with me so I can put her in there, let her just hang out. And then when she's ready to come out, then she usually lets me know or I'll, we'll walk for a bit and then I'll just put the backpack down. If she wants to come out and walk, she can. If she wants to still stay in there, then we'll just keep walking. Cats can sometimes get spooked and run, so one thing that we noticed is if you have a leash, if she pulls, even if my hand is around here, it can easily pull off of my hand. So a trick that we did is you loop the leash like this, put your hand through, and if she gets spooked and runs, this is just going to tighten on my wrist. Another thing that people also do is clip one of these to your leash and you can clip that to your backpack or to yourself and that's another way that if your cat does get spooked then they're not gonna take off. The important part is that you keep at it, persistence, keep going and they'll get more and more used to it. Our next videos we're gonna go more into depth into certain topics like what happens when we see a dog on the trail or if a squirrel has to go to the bathroom while we're hiking. We're also gonna talk about different harnesses that we use or if there's a different topic that you want to know about, then leave a comment and we'll maybe do a video about it.